Luke will be 12 this year. The care involves um, helping him to wash, dress, feed, just total, complete care that you take for granted. You have to do everything for him. When he was born, the doctors told us that he had um, problems. They couldn't exactly say what problems it was um, until a couple of days afterwards and they explained to us that he had short limbs and short arms and everything else that went with it. They didn't expect he'd reach a year old. Luke's got Opitz trigonal cleft which is known as Opitz C syndrome. And um, there's only been 13 in the world diagnosed with this. Luke's very active in the morning. He's got a cheeky character. Um, it's a bit of a struggle and a challenge, but he's always washed and dressed and ready for the bus at half past eight in the morning. He just loves life to the full and it's just unfortunate that he can't do the things that he wants to do, but he has a good go at trying to do it. We were told that if we had another child, the chances of another child being born with the same genetic problem would be non-existent, but we've had another child and unfortunately had the same uh, syndrome. Angel was born March 1998 and she had a, a traumatic birth and the doctors actually came to see us and told us that she had the same problems as Luke had. Her actual needs are more uh, demanding, she has a lot of serious chest infections. She's been in and out of hospital like, all her life. The night times are always a struggle as Angel sleeps in with us and her monitors are going on and off all night. So we get a very limited sleep, which makes it harder for us to cope during the daytime. Uh, Angel, uh, in our eyes, uh, is a, a little beauty and we obviously would never like to be without her and what she means the world so that's the same as Luke. Every week the Jesse May Trust supply us with a nurse like Sandy um, because Angel's not attending school, she has a visit once a week and Luke gets visits in school, half terms and holidays. We really value these visits because it gives Angel somebody else to be able to interact with and it gives us a chance to do what we want to do. Without the Jessie May help, we wouldn't be allowed to go anywhere or do anything by ourselves, would we? The difference with the Jessie May Trust actually coming in is they're all qualified nurses and that puts your mind at rest so that you know that anything that arises when you're out or whatever, they can cope with it. We're aware there's a lot more families out there that could do with the help and support from the Trust um, to provide the service, but there's no funding for it. They haven't got the money to take any more on. I don't know how we've managed without them. It's just, well, it's just a godsend, isn't it, really? <laughs> Luke and Angel's both got a life-limiting condition. We don't know how long they're going to carry on. Obviously, they probably wouldn't develop into like adulthood, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but, um, we just got to live day by day and hope they outlive, you know, what the doctor's expectations were. We make the most of it. We don't know any different to have a normal child, so we make the most of what we've got. And we make the most of their life and try and make them as happy as they possibly can and care for them how we can. Family life for us is just a precious time, isn't it? And what time we have, we make the most of it. It's a precious time together.